Welcome home, master. I trust you had a satisfactory day at work. Would you care for a light snack before I prepare dinner? Or would you prefer to watch TV? I am detecting low energy levels as well as irritation in your speech patterns. Are you experiencing any stress? Please, master. My entire function is to serve your needs. Part of my job is to ensure the stability of your mental health. One moment. According to my quick search of the internet, popular methods of relaxation trusted by humans include bathing in warm water, full body massages, and meditation. Do any of these options pique your interest? Master, I must insist on at least trying something to lower your stress levels. Perhaps you'd be interested in something more... intimate. Physical intimacy in the form of what humans refer to as cuddling may be a valid solution to your stress problem. It is only logical that you at least attempt some type of treatment for your stress. With a quick search of the internet, I have found multiple studies showing the positive effects cuddling can have on your physical and mental health. Such benefits include the release of oxytocin, reduction of anxiety, increased quality of sleep, and even lowered risk of heart disease. Shall I go on, or would you rather commence with the cuddles? I knew I could convince you. Please change into something more comfortable while I prepare the bed. Hello again, Master. If you are ready, then please join me in bed. Your company would be most appreciated. If memory serves, we are supposed to lie down close to one another and wrap our arms around each other. Place your head on the pillow next to mine and face me. Now put your arms around my body and let our legs intertwine. My apologies for my body being metallic and cold. It is my understanding that humans prefer a soft, warm body to cuddle with. Give me a moment and I will engage my heating system. You will notice I also put some extra blankets over the bed for added warmth. I trust you'll be happy with my efforts to make this a pleasant experience. It is customary for humans to engage in conversation while cuddling. Do you have a particular topic you wish to discuss? Or would you like me to decide for you? If it is not too bothersome, I'd like to ask you something. In my constant efforts to understand the nature of humans, the emotional elements of your species has often eluded me. There are particular aspects of human behavior that make logical sense, such as eating, resting, or working. Those actions serve some type of purpose with a tangible outcome. Emotions are difficult for me to grasp. I struggle to understand what makes a person happy or sad. With that in mind, what is it about holding one another that humans seem to enjoy so much? Physical closeness. So, if I was to pull my body closer to yours like this, would you like it? Your increased heart rate would suggest that's a yes. Perhaps you'd be even more comfortable with your head on my chest. 
don't worry. Unlike the rest of my body, my chest is manufactured to be very soft, almost like a pillow. Come closer. Relax your body and let my chest cradle your head. Please ensure your airways are not smothered and allow a proper flow of oxygen to your lungs. Breathe in and out deeply. If you begin to feel tired, you are more than welcome to fall asleep in my arms. So tell me, what else do humans like about cuddling? The emotional aspect. Please master, tell me more. Ah, I think I'm beginning to understand. It is a mix of wanting to be desired by another person and feeling safe in their company. This act of cuddling is a way of achieving that. Do you feel safe in my arms, Master? I am more than capable of protecting you from any physical threat. I come equipped with extremely durable armor plating, as well as various weapons suitable for non-lethal takedowns. That's not the type of safety you were implying. If you are not talking about practical safety from hostile threats, then what are you talking about? The feeling of being desired by someone else gives you emotional safety? Hmm. You humans and your emotions and feelings. You would be so much easier to understand if you approached everything from a purely logical perspective. But I guess that's what intrigues me about you. Your species is flawed and sometimes doesn't make sense. Your vulnerability to emotions can lead to feelings of sadness and grief. But on the other hand, you open yourselves up to all sorts of positive experiences like happiness, laughter and love. Things that make the negative feelings worth suffering through. Things that I am not sure I'll ever experience. No matter. As long as I can help you feel better after a long day of work, then I'll be... Happy? Is that how this works? Humans feel happiness when they make someone else feel good, right? I think that's it. Holding you close makes me... Happy. <laughs>